Hello Virgo and welcome to your October. How do they feel about you reading? This is for Virgo. We are going to see how they're feeling and then if they will take any actions regarding those feelings, okay? And some of these energies can be interchangeable, so keep that in mind. This is for Virgo for October 2018. One more. There we go. How do they feel about Virgo for October 2018? How do they feel about Virgo? I think you're the only card that got this. Or the only sign that got this card, I should say. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Hmm, yet again. All right, we have playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. You make them feel good. And clearly they miss you. So they're coming back around. So brace yourself. Here we go. This is for Virgo. This is for Virgo for October 2018. If this resonates with you, Virgo, please like, share, and subscribe, and leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. All right, this is for Virgo. If this does not resonate with you at all, Virgo, please check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign, as this will not resonate with every Virgo out there. For Virgo. If you would like a private reading with me, something more specific to your current situation, all the information is down below in the description box. This is for Virgo for October. 2018 how do they feel how do they feel about virgo very nice Whew. right here this is what they want ten of cups commitment full of love full of happy partnerships and family and kids in the house they want it all they want it all with you virgo they're coming back they're coming back to get it just saying Ten of Cups, Water Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. They see you as absolutely gorgeous, beautiful, male or female, does not matter, abundant. They want a new beginning here to grow and grow and bloom and blossom into something beautiful. All right, Virgo, we have the Empress at the bottom of the deck. This is a Libra Energy ruled by Venus, and we are in a Venus retrograde. So the past can come knocking. <laughs> so, and I feel like they're coming back for to try a reconciliation because they love your energy. They think you're a beautiful person. They see you as somebody that you know can take care of you know not only yourself but um, them and the house and the kids and and everything. You know you are the ultimate female energy this is the empress the mother of the tarot deck okay you can do it all and you can do it all by and look good at the same time right so they see the potential for growth here and they want a new beginning virgo um they want to talk about it text email phone call uh knock on the door face to face all of the above they're coming in Arrows of love here, shooting at you. All right? We have fire energy with these eight of wands. This is Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So they want to talk about this. You make them feel good. They're coming back. Yeah. And then we have this ace of swords. I don't know if they're going to take no for an answer. They want a victory here. They want to get clear on some things, clear communication here, clarity, and they want this victory here with this Ace of Swords. 
This is air energy, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. They're here to conquer the situation, right? They want it back. They want it all back, and they want it with you. They want the romance back. They want the happy home back. They want this beautiful energy back with you. They're coming in to talk about it, and it may be pretty quick here. All right. That Eight of Wands is a very fast moving energy. Okay. So keep that in mind. They want a victory here. How else are they feeling about Virgo? What other actions will they take in October 2018? Please help us to see very, very clearly. Please help us to see very clearly. This is for Virgo. How do they feel about Virgo? What other actions will they take? They feel like you are their destiny. You are their fate, right? They may come in and say, I've learned my lesson, you know, karmic lessons here, but things are changing. I've changed. Wheel of fortune. You know, luck is on our side, baby. This wheel is turning a lot of changes here. Okay, you are their fate. You are their destiny. That's how they feel. And they want to um, celebrate with you. They want to put down roots with you. And you can see uh, some readers call this the 1111 card. You know, they want to step through that portal here. You know, this twin flame situation. They feel such a strong connection to you. We have the Four of Wands. This is Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So they want stability here. They want their domestic home life back. Their happy domestic home life back with you. They want to come home. Right? They see you as in this kind of uh, contemplation mode. Like you're really talking to them right now. Maybe you've blocked them on a few um, social media apps or whatever, you know, maybe you've blocked them. They see you, you know, as kind of taking a break from the situation, contemplating, thinking. The swords are our thoughts, and this is the four of swords. Doing a lot of thinking about the situation, not really paying them no mind at this point. Um, they could come in and say, you know what, let's fix this. Let's go try some counseling. As you can see, this person's laying on like a therapist's couch with his hands in the air and talking over their problems and things like that. So they may offer that as well. But here you are with the hermit energy. They see you as very withdrawn from them. Okay. And they want to heal the situation also. They want to heal this situation. But they know that you're very withdrawn from them. With this Virgo energy and the Four of Swords especially. So you're not communicating with them all that well. But they do want to come in and talk about this. Because they want this growth and potential here. They want the Ten of Cups. They want the Four of Wands. They want family. They want to live with you in a happy domestic situation. They want to come back. They want um, clarity. They want a victory here, okay? Because you make them feel good and they, they think you are an absolutely gorgeous person. You are the ultimate um, feminine energy and I know I say male or female but this is the empress here so the emperor would be the male form of that but you are you know a divine energy I guess that's what I'm trying to say to cover all my bases there absolutely gorgeous they're coming back they're coming back they may say that they have changed and learned their lessons but they're coming back okay so that's what we got for you, Virgo. Um, if you'd like a private reading with me, all the information is down below in the description box. I go live with uh, the daily energies uh, throughout the week around noon Eastern Standard Time, Friday 
is the live Love Lester Law show, so check that out also around noon Eastern Standard Time. And then next week, I will be getting out the mid-month check-ins and um, kind of excited about that. So I will talk to you all later. I hope you have a beautiful week and take very good care of yourselves. God bless.